So now I'd like to show you one of the coolest things about Mac OS X. When Apple shipped the original Macintosh, it introduced to the market an organizing principle called the desktop to organize your work, to keep track of things. Uh, and as computers got more complicated, i.e. you could work on many things at once, we have internet connections and email coming in and out and stuff, there has never been an enhancement of that organizing principle that worked really well to help you manage all these things you're doing at once. And we have come up with something really great for Mac OS X, and it's called the dock. And I'd like to show it to you now. This is the dock. It's at the bottom of the screen. It always stays centered. And it allows me to put things into it. <clears throat> I can put all sorts of different things into it. How do I put things into it? Well, I can drag things into it. But let me show you a much cooler way to get things into it. I've got these three buttons up here. One puts, closes the window. The other maximizes it. The third minimizes it, the middle one. Where does it go when a window minimizes? Well, it goes here. And you notice my dock just grows, right? Let me open another one. <coughs> Minimize it. And of course, I can move these things around in the dock anywhere I want to, right? Whoops, I didn't want to do that, sorry. And I can just hit them, neutralize them, boom, boom. Pretty cool, huh? Let me even show, I can slow this down. We built in a special slow-mo mode for the demo here today. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's just, it's just magical. And uh, it shows you exactly where they go. Again, it's that same, we call it the genie effect that the sheets use when they come out. And um, I can just play with it all day long, actually. <laughs> so, let me even show you one other thing here. Um, this, is, this is particularly amazing. I'm going to get my Mission Impossible QuickTime movie back up here. <coughs> and um, there it is. And so why don't we go ahead and, you know, play some of this. Agent Let's go ahead and minimize it, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And we're going to make it so you can even watch them when they're in the dock. So, pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and show you, though, uh, what happens, let's say, with the dock. Uh, let's, let's open a few more of these things. And, and uh, let's say I uh, go ahead and, you know, miniaturize these things. And I'll go ahead and turn the speed back up here. Um, and uh, I miniaturize more things. And then I can also drag things into the dock. But what happens now? The dock is full. What do I do? Well, it just shrinks a little bit. All right? And I can put anything in here I want. I can put websites. I can put documents. I can put anything, applications, anything that I use. And I can rearrange them at will. And the dock just accommodates anything I want when I drag something out, it gets bigger. Right? Now, a question would be, well, how small can it get? Well, it can get pretty small, actually. Uh, you can actually set the maximum tile size, and it'll shrink from there if you have more stuff. But you, know, you can actually say, well, it'll get really small. I can hold like 128 things here. Uh, how would I ever see them, though, if they get this small, or if I even prefer them this small? Well, we have something we call magnification, which works kind of like this. Right? And so you can turn magnification on, you know, as, as, as large as you want. 
you just set how light, you know, how big you want them when they magnify, and you can set the maximum tile size. So you can keep them like this and, you know, do anything you want. It's really, really cool. And if you don't like it at all, you can just hide it, and it'll just come up when you go down there. Very, very simple. Okay. So now, let me show you one last thing. I'm going to take some of these things out of the dock and turn magnification off. I'm going to get the dock back up uh, a little bit bigger again. Oh, yeah, this thing is... Let's just quit that. And so my dock's a little bit bigger again. And um, oops. I can also change the size of icons on my desktop, by the way. Isn't that cool? Very simple. Uh, but I'm going to set my maximum tile size up large again. And um, drag this out. And so I've got, uh, let me just go back here now to where I've got uh, a few images up here. And so I've got uh, two images up here. And uh, let me go ahead and um, click a button that's on the right side of the top of the window pane. And this button is pretty cool. What it does is it says, you know, when we have a lot of windows around on our system, it can get rather confusing for beginners. And even for pros, if you're working back and forth between Illustrator and Photoshop, or Photoshop and something else, these things can get very complicated on the screen. What could we do to make life easier for our pro customers and for beginners? We came up with something pretty neat. And you can click it from any window. You can turn it off and on, and it's called single window mode. So you just click this, and every other window on the screen is miniaturized. And when I click another window, boom, they switch places. It's very easy. So let me put this one over here. And I say, boom, I want that one. No, I want that one. No, I, I really want that one. And uh, let me go ahead and show this to you in slow-mo here. It's kind of fun. Pretty cool, huh? I can even show you some text here. Again, I launched a new app. The other one put itself away. Whoops, there we go. You know? Pretty cool, huh? So, this... This is Mac OS X. This is our foundation for the next decade of Macintosh operating systems. And we are thrilled with it. I'm spent. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never seen anything like this. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. I'm speechless. This isn't, uh, it's not your daddy's operating system launch, you know? Come to, come to, you know, lend support for the new operating system. And you just don't expect anything like this. I mean, I'm sitting here in the audience, 15 minutes into it, and, you know, we're watching the movie, seen as kids, and I realize I'm welling up with tears. <laughs> I am. I mean, probably a lot of you with kids are doing the same thing. And I just, uh, I mean, Apple, Apple is design. Uh, I, you know, everything you see here, you want. You want as a consumer. Um, you just look at it, and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 